elements of typography. Typography uses typefaces and the white space around and throw them to create a whole design. Typefaces and fonts Typefaces are a family of fonts such as Helvetica Regular, Helvetica Italic, Helvetica Black. Fonts are one weight or style within that family such as Helvetica Bold. Typeface classifications. These are sometimes called font families. They are large groupings of typefaces based on generic classifications. On web pages, there are six types. Serif, sans serif, monospaced. Cursive, Fantasy, Script, Overview of Font Families, Serif and Sans Serif. Serifs are the small finishing strokes on the end of a character. Sans serif fonts do not have these small finishing strokes. Serif Serifs are used to increase contrast and irregularity between different letters to improve identification. Serifs are used to bind characters into cohesive word holes. Readers prefer body text set in serif typefaces, so they must be more legible. Serifs are used for body text because sans serif causes fatigue. Some examples of serif fonts are Garamond, Georgia, Times, Times New Roman, Sans Serif. Sans serif are better on the web. Sans serif is better at small size. Sans serif fonts survive reproduction and smearing because of their simple forms. Sans serif is better for children learning to read. Some examples of sans serif fonts are Arial, Geneva, Helvetica, Lucida Sans, Trebuchet. Vardana Monospace Monospace fonts take up equal space for each letter. Monospace fonts work well for code samples. Monospace provide instructions, give examples, or imply typewritten text. Monospace letters have the same width for each character. So they always take up the same amount of space on the page. Typewriters typically used monospace fonts.
Some examples of monospace fonts are Korea, Korea New, Lucida Council, Monaco. Fantasy, script, and cursive fonts. Fantasy and script fonts are not as widespread on computers and in general can be hard to read in large chunks. While you might like the effect of a diary or other personal record, that using a cursive font might give. Your readers might have trouble. This is especially true if your audience includes non-native speakers. Also, fantasy and cursive fonts don't always include accent characters or other special characters, which limits your text to English. Use fantasy and cursive fonts in images and as headlines or call outs. Keep them short and be aware that whatever font you choose will probably not be on a majority of your readers' computers. Some examples of fantasy fonts are Copper Plate Desdemona Impact Kino Some examples of script fonts are Apple Chancery Comic Sans MS Lucida Handwriting How to decide which font family to use? One of the easiest ways to affect the design of a web page is with the fonts that you use. But many beginning web designers often go crazy changing fonts every couple words and experimenting with fonts that are virtually unreadable just because they are cool. Don't use more than 3 to 4 fonts on any one page. Don't change the font in mid-sentence unless you have a very good reason. Use some serif fonts for online body text and serif fonts for headlines and print. Use monospace fonts for typewriter text and code blocks. Use script and fantasy fonts for accents. Remember that these are all suggestions, not hard and fast rules. But if you are going to do something different, then you should do it with intention, not by accident.